Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this special report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Hundreds of drivers in New Hampshire have repeat DWI convictions in past years. State police say they're working to increase enforcement. Digging into repeat DWIs in New Hampshire, number of cases trending downward. Prosecutors call the cases of a New Hampshire woman who was arrested five times and charged with DWI in five months unique. But News 9 investigates has found hundreds of other drivers with past convictions who were convicted again in the past year, some for a third, fourth, and in one case, tenth time. Marie Collins of Raymond recently pleaded guilty to three DWI charges and one reckless operation charge which was reduced from a DWI charge. She has another DWI charge still pending. All five arrests happened between September 3rd, 2019 and January 6th, 2020. But until now, Collins had a clean record because her prior offenses hadn't yet gone through the court system. That meant she was considered to be a first-time offender each time she was arrested. The law established that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. If you are arrested on a DWI offense and not yet convicted, your second, third, fourth, and even fifth arrests are still considered your first offense. The way the statutes are written, there must be a pre- offense to be charged with a subsequent offense, said Alex Yerkerin, the state police prosecutor for Troop A. Yerkerin has dealt with a number of DWI cases, including one for Collins. What's important there is she had an order not to drive, and in order not to drink alcohol, and she allegedly did both, he said. Yorkins brought new breach of bail charges against Collins. She was sentenced to 33 days in jail for the breach of bail, plus an additional five days for pleading guilty to an aggravated DWI. Miss Collins walked away with a deeper penalty, in my opinion, than someone with an aggravated DUI would have gotten, Yorkins said. She's been held every accountable, said Collins' attorney. Marie accepted responsibility for more than a DWI, more than an aggravated DWI in breach of bail. Her attorney said the penalties against the Colin go beyond her five cases. Any DUI here on out for
for her within the next two years is an enhanced penalty, he said. Within the next ten years is going to be an enhanced penalty. Convictions for DWI are nothing usually in New Hampshire. News 9 found hundreds of other people with multiple convictions. The Department of Motor Vehicles records obtained records obtained by News 9 show that in 2019, more than 3,000 people, both residents and non-residents, were convicted of DWI in New Hampshire. Take a look. The DWI convictions in New Hampshire, as you can see in this chart. Of those, more than 500 people received their second conviction. 91 received their third. 20 people had their fourth and 11 were convicted of their fifth DWI in 2019. One person each received a sixth, eighth, and even tenth conviction. It's very frustrating because our goal is to try to make the roadways safe for everyone, said Captain William Haynes of New Hampshire Highway Safety Commander. Haynes said DWIs in New Hampshire are on the decline, but his department is always working to lower those numbers even more. The state police right now, we invest from the Office of Highway Safety and Federal Funding close to 500000 to increase state police enforcement throughout the year. He said, some say enforcement is not enough. We really need to find a treatment plan that will work for people, said DWI defense attorney Ryan Russman. Russman said the state isn't going to be able to enact, create itself out of the problem. The means of identifying drunk driving, that really needs to be, in my opinion, revamped and revised, he said. So, lots of people who are perceived of being impaired, maybe they're not. Maybe they have a physical problem. But the toolbox that law enforcement has right now, that's what they have to work with. And that does it for this special report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here next time for another special report. Good night and bye, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this special report. Bye.